Skyrail is coming to Kuyong, with the Premier unveiling plans for a new bridge over Turak Road. That's where we find state political reporter Andrew Lund. Andrew, nearby residents are not pleased. Uh, they're not, Pete, and neither's the local MP who happens to be state opposition leader Michael O'Brien. They say the Andrews government has chosen a cheap and unsightly option by electing to put the Glen Waverley line up rather than under. But what nobody is disputing is that this level crossing needs to go sooner rather than later. On Kuyong's leafy fringe, this level crossing is one of the southeast's most frustrating bottlenecks. Whilst there are some crossings where the boom gates are down for longer, they're not right on the edge of the Monash Freeway. This morning, the Premier unveiled plans for a 550 metre long rail bridge to take the Glen Waverley line nine metres above Turak Road. It'll be a rail over, uh, sky rail some people may call it. Nearby residents are calling it a mistake. It's going to be a horrendous terrible impact. It'll completely destroy our peace of mind. Lorraine and Alan Adler's home of 54 years backs onto the rail line and while they agree the crossing needs to be removed, they wanted the rail line put underneath the road. We've had absolutely no consultation at all. No one has spoken to us anything about it at all. The government says SkyRail will allow for faster and less disruptive construction. A full year can be saved by removing the level crossing uh, in this way. It also means for much of that time that the construction's underway that the trains can keep running. Just a few hundred metres down the line is one of the few places in Melbourne where trams and trains intersect. But despite both being forced to slow to a crawl and its proximity to the new SkyRail, this crossing is not slated for removal. To think that one of the worst level crossings in Victoria, which is the Glenfree Road Kuyong level crossing, just 800 metres away, isn't going to be touched at all. Construction at Turak Road is due for completion by 2021. Andrew Lund, Nine News.